The isotope strontium-87 is partly special because some of it is produced by the radioactive decay of rubidium-87 over billions of years. Now this means that strontium-87 and strontium-86 rations in rocks can vary and are useful for geological dating. Scientists often exploit these rations by measuring the strontium isotopes ratios in a rock or fossil. You can learn about its age or the environment it came from. Scientists also use strontium as a geochemical fingerprint. For example, archaeologists analyze strontium isotope ratios in ancient teeth and bones to learn where people grew up. The idea is that rocks in different regions have different strontium isotope signatures, which enter the local water and food. A child who eats and drinks locally will have the same signature in their teeth and bones. By comparing the strontium-87 strontium-86 ratio in a skeleton to maps of regional strontium, researchers can tell if a person was local or had migrated from far away. The technique has for instance shown that some people buried at Stonehenge grew up in Wales, far from Salisbury Plain. In short, strontium isotopes in bones can act like a natural GPS of the past.